Well, we're very excited and happy to have on the show the founder and CEO of the DC Watchdog Group. It's called Open the Books. We're big fans of this group. He's Adam Angieski. Adam, it's good to see you, sir. So, Adam, what do you want to see? What are you looking for in the primetime House hearing on China in less than an hour and a half? It's going to be on TV. Are we letting China get away with too much? Well, yeah, we're letting China get away with too much, and it's been going on for decades. It's a Chinese strategy. For example, last fall, our organization at OpenTheBooks.com, we highlighted the Strider Technologies report where up to 150 former employees uh, of the Los Alamos National Lab, our crown jewel national lab, aren't working in America anymore. They're working back in China on behalf of the Chinese Communist Party and against our military national interests. You know, so Adam, when you've seen this whole Energy Department uh, story unfold, where their national labs indicating that with low confidence, that, but they do say likely that the pandemic likely leaked out of a lab in China. What's your reaction to that story? The FBI is saying, yeah. Christopher Ray is talking to Brett Baer saying, yes, they've been investigating it. FBI does think it did leak out of a lab in China. What's your take on all of this? Well, this goes right to the credibility of our institutions right here in America. And look, there needs to be a lot more investigation about how government put its thumb on the scale during the COVID pandemic to influence speech in this country. And speech equals thought. They were trying to control our thoughts. And so look, the House Select Committees, they need to dig and keep clawing. What do you think of Dr. Fauci here? You've done a lot of work investigating Dr. Fauci. What are you finding? Well, doctor, we investigated Dr. Fauci because I don't even think it's arguable that he is one of the most powerful bureaucrats ever in the history of the country. And obviously, in crafting America's COVID response during the pandemic, we gave oversight to the Fauci family finances. Here's what we found, Liz. We found that Dr. Fauci was the most highly compensated federal employee, and he out-earned the president. Last year, he made 480000 And Mrs. Fauci, Christine Grady, She's employed as the chief bioethicist at Fauci's employer, the National Institutes of Health. So while Fauci was crafting national health care pandemic policies, she was backstopping those policies through her office at the bio on ethics and moral uh, studies. And she actually out-earned the vice president of the United States. Now, Dr. Fauci's retired at the end of the year, and he's retired on the largest pension in federal history, we estimate that pension at $375,000 a year. Yeah, we're hearing his net worth is $10 million to $12 million. How is that not a conflict of interest having his wife as a chief ethics officer at the NIH? Well, Liz, I'd like to break it on your show. We've researched out a 50-page document that empirically shows that as Dr. Fauci's positions during the pandemic changed, Mrs. Fauci's positions on ethics studies during the pandemic changed to match her husband's positions. And so we'll be ready in a couple of weeks to release that report. Uh, look, Dr. Fauci's net worth, we showed that during the pandemic years of 2019 through 2021, it increased from $7.6 million to $12.6 million. We show exactly how Fauci profited during the pandemic. Got it. Lots of news in D.C. today about all of that. Also, policies like open borders. Adam, we're going to show a mother's heartbreaking testimony on Capitol Hill. She lost her both of her sons to the second pandemic hitting the U.S., fentanyl poisoning. Watch this. This is a war. Act like it. Do something. Law enforcement made it clear to me that this fentanyl came from Mexico. It came from our southern border. My children were taken away from me. This should not be politicized. It's dehumanizing. It's demoralizing. This was not an overdose. This was murder. My children got fake Percocets that were fentanyl. Adam, it's a national disgrace and an outrage that she and so many other families lost their children because of fake pills laced with fentanyl. Adam, what's your response to that story? Well, our open border is not a question of budget. It's a question of political will. 
Liz, incredibly, our auditor is at OpenTheBooks.com. We've quantified the militarization of the federal agencies. And outside of the Department of Defense today, there are over 200,000 officers with arrest and firearm authority. That number exceeds the number of United States Marines at 186,000. So the fact that we have an open border and drugs are pouring across our border, it's not a question of budget. It is a simple question of political will. Got it. Adam Andrzejewski, thank you so much. We'll have you back on again soon. It's good to have you on. It's good to see you. Thank you, Liz.